Okay, a little update on the Miata GT25 engine. What is a Miata GT25, you're asking? Corky Bell from Bell Engineering uh, did a turbo kit for the Miata NB when it was pretty much brand new. And after speaking to him on the phone, after working out what I had in this country, he was a bit shocked that I had one um, and talked about very few of them um, still being around after the turbo kit. It had eight injectors. In fact, I've still got the original manifold, which is painted pink. And you'll see the extra row of injectors that were welded onto the back of the uh, manifold there. And I did want to keep that manifold there, but eventually I bought bigger injectors. I think 630cc Deutsche Works injectors, if anyone's wondering. That goes with my nice shiny new radium fuel rail. Thanks, mum and dad. That was a lovely birthday present. Uh, so now I'm obviously setting that up now as well. Doing a bit of rewiring, tidying up the wires. There's going to be no wiring around the front of the engine because nobody wants to see that. Um, so from the top, we've got 264, 264 cams, which were reprofiled, um, set up by Fab9 tuning in the States and um, sent over to Washington where they were reprofiled and sent back to Pennsylvania where a friend of mine picked them up and brought them back to Crawley in England. Very exciting journey for these cams. Um, turbo manifold, the original Bell Engineering Group turbo manifold, which has a cover plate, which you do not ever see, um, but yeah, original cover plate is going back on. It was never originally red, I just want to point that out. I butchered that years ago. Um, inside here, we have double valve springs. We have titanium retainers. I don't know if that actually means anything. It certainly doesn't mean horsepower, um, but uh, the double valve springs should allow about 9,000 RPM. Totally going for 9,000 RPM. Um, so double valve springs, Viton seals, all the regular head work, um, two angle cut on the inlet, three angle cut on the exhaust. Um, and then inside the block we have, oh yes, uh, ARP head studs, eagle eyes would have spotted the ARP head studs and I did a previous video on installing those as well if you're interested. Um, inside the block we have, you can't see inside the block, you'll just have to take my word for it. There are some Wysco 8.5 to 1 pistons in there uh, with some eagle um, supplied by CNC Motorsports many, many years ago. Uh, Conrods, H-beam Conrods, they were cheap as chips, they've lasted a couple of engines now and they're still perfect, I just had to balance this time. Um, so Wysco Pistons 8.5 to 1 ratio, 84.5 mil, so there's an overbore of 1.5 millimetres, uh, so it's not quite a square engine, we're talking half a mil out, it might as well be a square engine. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're at 1.9 something litre, I think, with a Cometic head gasket to go with that, that supports that size, because they're not 83 mil pistons anymore. Um, so we've got rods, pistons, cams, some other bits, many other expensive things. Oh yes, um, ACL race series bearings. That just means they're heavy duty. And believe me, the way I push this thing, they're gonna need to be. Um, yeah, and then we've bolted up the mains at the bottom as well with ARP studs. Again, you can't see, just take my word for it. Um, so ARP in there. We've also got the ladder baffle plate from the later car. So all the, the caps bolt together, uh, which is a bit stronger allegedly, which is great. You might have spotted my huge turbo drain. Where is it? There it is, my huge turbo drain. That's AN12 uh, because we are fitting my shiny new as Nick from Scuzzle would call it, Baby Borg. This is an HE221 whole set turbo, um, which is a T25 bolt pattern on the supply on the hot side. And I think it's TDO4-ish with an extra ear uh, on the back uh, as well. Internal waste gated, not going for masses of power, but um, you know, we can change that if we need to. Um, yeah, and oh, that was the other thing in um, inside here, we've got a Skid Nation um, uprated baffle kit. So it just keeps the oil in the sump, in this part of the sump, basically. A couple of plastic flaps. Those those that know what that is will, will understand. Um, so that was in there just because while it was all apart, why not? It wasn't very expensive um, to do that. Um, we've got a coolant reroute as well. Again, Skid Nation cover plate and um, what have you. And on the back, I think it was a Hawley... I think it's a Hawley reroute kit. I can't remember with a GMC truck hose of some sort. I don't remember. Um, this is the horsepower. This is the real horsepower right here. Pink. More pink. And a pretend skunk to throttle body. And the other side of those screws have been lock tighted. I did watch you on Beavis Motorsport. Um, yeah. 
Oh yeah, uprated engine mounts, just Mazda Speed ones. Um, great reviews online and not expensive. Mazda dealer, about 40 quid, not, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so without making this thing 12 minutes long, there is a rewire coming as well. So I've, um, um, all the wiring will be hidden. You won't be able to see it, but it's all using original plugs. So um, I can swap things out if I need to, which is good. But I think that's about it. I'm short of making this thing six minutes, which is really boring. No one's ever even get to this bit at all. Maybe Harry and Freddie will. I got you. Um, but yeah, anybody else, if you're really interested in uh, Miata build, this did take me two years to save up and buy all these bits. I'm not made of money. I'm, you know, I, I just do it bit by bit. Um, yeah, but if anyone's interested in anything MX-5, shoot me a comment. Um, nice ones, please. No need for nasty comments. Oh, you shouldn't do it like this. You shouldn't do it like that. Armchair experts can back off. Go back to your armchair and troll other people on the internet. This is just purely, I think, really for myself, my friends, to work out once I've crashed this car again, that we can see how much love I was putting into it before that happened. Cool. Maybe I'll show you the car one these days. Thanks very much. See you guys.